Uh, I can say, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a foreign event for me. I've never did the 12K before. So uh, I'm not sure about uh, when to do what and how to do it. But uh, the, the most important thing is uh, the 10K split because it's the one what it will determine uh, what will happen. Because, I mean, if they, they manage to go like a, a, a 33, 32 or 33, 31, I think they went through 10Ks around uh, uh, 28.0. Two or twenty-eight zero zero twenty-seven fifty-nine. So, which is not a, a, a tough. I mean, if we, we we work together with them, and then having the likes of Elroy and Ledwin and all the other guys, we kept on cheering each other, so that we can help each other work as a team. I mean, we have seen Kenyans all the time; they work as a team. So for me, I, I think I've got a strong team around me, and then uh, if we work together and push each other, I think it will be easier for us to to achieve uh, uh, good times. Elroy. You were in last year's race when those guys were going for the world best mark. But I suppose with a strong South African field, there's another element to actually what's going to be happening on Sunday. Stephen says you guys are going to be working together, not only to have a South African winner, but also for that South African record. Because there's 10,000 rounds up for grabs for anybody that can break that 34-23. Yes, if I'm not mistaken, I think the South African record is 34 21 um, seconds. So I think it's possible. Um, you know, with the likes of Steven in this race this year, it's going to make it a bit interesting. Um, some of the guys, like the Kenyan guys, they know Steven. So I think they, they're going to change a little bit of their tactics as to last year. Um, but I think they're still going to go for a world best time. And I think we're right in there to go for the, for the South African record. Um, the guys they're going to push, I think last year I was a little bit of uphill at the Botanical Gardens this year. They took the, 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 the hill away. So definitely, I think it's possible to go for that South African world best of 34-21 seconds. Now, you gentlemen have both qualified for the Olympic Games. How does this distance and this event actually fit in with your plans for the Olympics? Arul, you can start. Yeah, definitely. You know, for us, especially we 5,000, 10,000 meters running. So um, your, your training, it's, 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 it's similar. Your training, your, your, your preparation is, is, is quite similar. So this actually fits right in. Uh, we, we're heading to Europe next week where we will do a few 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters races. And this is actually great preparations for Europe and for upcoming Olympi Olympic Games late in the year. And Stephen, you have qualified for both the five and 10,000 meters. And obviously being the national champion, you'll be uh, looking to go for that double at the Olympic Games. How does this 12 kilometers, which as you said, is not a, a distance that you often get to see when it comes to road running. How does that fit in with your preparations for Rio? I mean, as my colleague Roy said, uh, a 12 case is uh, more or less the same distance as we are training because we do high mileage. And then again, uh, I think even himself, myself too, we started very late in terms of uh, South African season. So we are building up towards Europe because, I mean, uh, in the past we have realized that we have been doing mistakes where we pick uh, early. And when you go to Europe or, or World Championships, uh, I, I mean, our career, I mean, like uh, our fitness level goes down. So I think of him, I mean, we saw when we were running like the 10K when he was pacing me, there is a lot of work to do. Uh, there in terms of my fitness and even himself. So the most important thing now is that uh, we take this as, as one of the tempo runs for us. If we run well, I think uh, it, I, we call it punishment anyway when, when you do the, the, higher, I mean the, the higher distance because we are doing the 10K, but he's, he's got a race schedule like 5K. I also have a 5K. So from the punishment, you're going to just run faster. And then once you run faster, it's shorter. So I think it, it suits well in terms of our preparation because uh, we planned our year properly. And the most important thing that I'm very happy about is that he made a qualifier for, for five and then I also made a qualifier for five. So I'm very excited because I'm going to learn from him because the first time I saw him running the World Championships so in Diego, he didn't make the final. But uh, when he went to, to, to Moscow, he made the final. So I'm going to learn from him. I'm just hoping he consider doing the 10 because I will <laughs> give him some few tactics on, uh, on the 10 because I've been at uh, uh, three major championships. So for me, I would be happy to have him on the same race and the likes of Elroy as well. To, I mean, I'm Mzazi in the race. I mean, I, I, I will, I, I'm, I'm very excited about it to have them so that we can talk our language in uh, 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 in the race, I mean, I'm very excited again about the weekend because you have seen Kenyans on the race, they always talk. So 
I just hope that I have one word to say to Elroy when I say, let's pick up the pace or you are killing me in Africans <laughs> or maybe in, in, in Soto or whatever so that we can sure. try to threaten Kenyans because it's all the, about the tactics like anywhere when, we, when we're running a race because they speak Swahili and most of the time he goes overseas, he's alone. I go overseas, I'm alone. Mzazi goes overseas, alone. Sure. Zima goes overseas, they're alone. But this time, because we're uh, uh, like one, I think it will be good. You know, sometimes even when the pace is high, I just go to Elgo and say, hey man, they are killing me in his language. Uh, or maybe when the pace is low, I will say to him, slan man. Mm -hmm. I know uh, the tactics will work for us. Uh, I think the word that you're going to be using after 10 kilometers is phosphate, phosphate, phosphate. All the best of luck to you, uh, Stephen, as well as you, Alroy. Uh, we do look forward to seeing our South African athletes working together. It is something that we so often see when it comes to Ethiopian and Kenyan athletes. And thankfully, we've got the talents of you guys to be able to work together. So all the best of luck. Uh, that's, uh, that's actually how we come to the end of uh, sports. Uh, um, so wonderful to speak to such class athletes here on Morning Live. Do have a brilliant weekend ahead. We'll meet again on Monday's show. Time now to get